Welcome to a quest for metal. Today we're doing something that one of you guys asked me to do. You wanted to know my top 10 worst metal albums of all time, and this is brought to you by Hasbro and Mark Palavros Verhotis. Probably said that wrong, but you two guys, Hasbro said worst albums you've ever heard in your life, and then Hasbro followed it up with top 10 version of that. So, you know, mix them both together, do it for you guys. We're going to talk about some fucking albums I goddamn hate. Usually on this channel, I talk about albums I love. I'm not that negative. Uh, I like to throw tens out a lot. I like to talk about shit I love. don't really like to be negative. Uh, so let's be negative today. Let's open it all up. Shit on some stuff. It'll be fucking funny. Let's go ham on some albums. But before I do, before I get my claws out... Tell me on the comments below, what's your most hated albums? What's the albums you fucking hate? What are some albums that make your blood boil? Top 10 albums you guys hate from metal. Pop them down below and let's get started with the list. Satyricon. I love Satyricon. I love Satyricon. They're a great black metal band. The early releases are amazing. I fucking love them. Even like the newest album is pretty good. Some of the mid albums are good, but the self-titled, the self-goddamn titled, put me to sleep. This is boring. You don't want a black metal album to be boring. It's black metal for fuck's sake. It's supposed to be intense. It's supposed to be furious or relaxing and calm. This is none of them. This is boring. This is the, easily one of the worst black metal albums I've ever heard. And there's some bad ones, like some newer bands coming up and they sound like a potato. Uh, but I can enjoy them. I can, I can enjoy the shitty vocals, whatever. I can enjoy that. It's funny. I can't enjoy this. This is boring. It's not funny. I can't laugh at it. Can't enjoy it. Can't relax to it. Can't headbang to it. It's, it, it's boring. This is like the worst black metal album. Fuck. When I do Satyricon, I'm going to rip into this again. But yeah, this album's goddamn fucking boring. And I hate it. Number nine. Classic Morbid Angel. You know what's coming. Illud. Divinum in Insanus. <sighs> this album is just so goddamn weird. So goddamn weird. Morbid Angel, fucking classic death metal pioneers. Alters of Madness is a goddamn classic. Blessed Other Sick is amazing. Covenant is amazing. I even love uh, Domination. I love, I love like all their goddamn albums. This one is easily the goddamn worst. What the fuck were they doing on this? Uh, we are morbid. Why they what? What does that mean? Bringing industrial elements into it. Just, just every song on here is a fucking disgrace. Tarnishes the good name of Morbid Angel. The some of the albums on here I hate because it's bands that I love and they brought out albums like this pile of fucking shit. It's awful. I hate it. Um. Is there any good redeeming qualities in it? No. Fuck, fucking burn it. It's awful. Jamie Horsley really liked this album. I made him listen to it. I was like, because he's trying to get him into Morbid Angel. I was like, yeah, listen to this one. It's fucking the worst album you could ever hear. And he was like, I really like this album. So never listen to him. <laughs> His opinion is now trash because he likes this fucking album. <laughs> no, but yeah, people can like what they want, but... This is a fucking abomination. Uh, burn it. Next up, Catharsis by Machine Head. Just burn the whole band at this point. You know, fuck them. Fuck them. Burn the whole band. Rob Flynn and everyone, just burn them. Fuck. Throw them all on a fire. You know, the fucking, the dead. The dead. <laughs> I thought Bloodstone and Diamonds was bad. I thought they were getting bad after um, Locust, but... Oh boy, this just took it to a whole new level. I hate the lyrics in this. It's juvenile. It's just... Like... I don't want to say edgy. It's not edgy, but it, it's... I don't know. It's just juvenile. It's juvenile. They, I hate it. They're trying to be, like, bro rock. I'm trying to talk about all these issues, but they're doing it in a way which is just cringy as fuck. They're doing it in a way which is cringy as fuck. Kind of like my videos. So, you know, if the lyric... <laughs> the music's not even that good. You know, I can't bash the lyrics too much because the music itself is not good... There's no good songs on here. Uh, Banger did a good review of this back way back when. Uh, it's it's bad. It's a bad album. I love Machine Head. 
Burning red, awesome. You know, the blackening, awesome. For the ashes of the empire, if that's what it's fucking called, I can't remember. Awesome, but now this album's killed them for me. Don't care about them. Don't care about Machine Head anymore. I'll listen to what they come out with, because I'm a music fan and I like music. But if this is anything to go by, fuck Machine Head. Fucking get out of here. Also, this isn't on the list, but I'm going to say fuck them as well. Disturbed, fuck them. Fuck Evolution, what the fuck was that? A commercial crash crowd. They were like, oh, the sound of silence. That worked well for us. We get loads of money from that. Let's just make a whole album of that. Fuck off. Get, get in the bin. Number seven is another whole band. Steel Panther. Fuck them. Fuck everything they stand for. <laughs> what, what is it, that Slipknot song? Don't give a fuck. Don't you fucking touch me. Basically that. Steel Panther, it's all shit. Hate the lyrics. Steel Panther, the whole band, all the albums. Uh, if I had to pick one, Heavy Metal Rules, the latest one. Just uninspired garbage. Hate the lyrics, hate the concepts, hate them as people. When you're parodying something, and you're worse than the bands you're parodying, there's a fucking problem. I'd much rather listen to Motley Crue than to Steel Panther. I'd much rather listen to, like, any glam band, Poison. I'd much rather listen to them than to Steel Panther. I don't understand humour. <laughs> I don't understand humour. I don't understand, like, humour in metal. I don't think it deserves... I don't think it belongs in metal. I don't think humour in metal goes well together. I've not heard a good metal album which has been funny. Ever. Fucking ever. And there is a subtle way to do it. Death Clock do it fucking well. And they do it seriously. They don't have fucking dick jokes or anything stupid like that. They do it seriously because they take their parody of a metal band and they're, they're a cartoon band, but the, the lyrics in there are funny, but they're taking them seriously. It's not like I want to bang 16 chicks and get STDs. It's like we were accidentally killing our fans. And it's stuff like that. It's, it's funny, tongue in cheek. It's awesome. The way Steel Panther does it is not funny. It's not interesting. It's not awesome. It's just, it's just, it's just cringy. I don't like it. I don't do not like it. Give me Death Clock. Give me bands of that nature, the comedic nature of like that, uh, rather than this fucking awful nonsense. So, personal pick. Maybe some people love them. You know, good, good for you. I say fucking drown them. Drown them in a cold lake, just like Celtic Frost Cold Lake. Um, <sighs> uh, they went glam again this is another band respectable band who changed the sound to something else now I'm not the biggest Celtic Frost fan I don't think they're fucking amazing like a lot of people do I prefer you know like any of I prefer Venom to Celtic Frost if I'm being honest I prefer Bathory to Celtic Frost but Morbid Tales to Megatherion and um, the one with the guy on the cover Monotheist really fucking good Really fucking good albums. What the fuck is Cold Lake though? What the fuck is this? They went like catchy glam again. Again, not a big fan of glam, but when a band who's known for being evil, Tom Warrior's vocals, you know, and it's evil, they're basically one of the pioneers of black metal. Fucking, I mean, come on. More with Tales to make a fairy on. Amazing fucking albums. Then they f throw this shit out and it's just kind of like, what are you doing, son? What are you Look how they massacred my boy! It's like that. It's like that meme. Fuck these guys. <laughs> Fuck this album. I, I, this album does not exist. This album does not exist. Uh, if you're into that kind of music, you might like it. I'm not. So... Let's move on. Five! Lulu by Metallica. Another album which just kind of ruined their reputation. I can understand the, the what they were going for with it. They wanted something new, they wanted something unique, they wanted to experiment. Uh, sure, whatever, you know, good for you. It did not work. It did not work. I think it's the worst Metallica album. St. Anger is way better than this. St. Anger is fucking, like, music to my ears compared to Lulu. I don't think it worked a single fucking bit. And James is a table? What does that mean? What the fuck? The lyrics are weird. The music is weird. There's no, there's no songs I like. St. Anger has songs I like. I like St. Anger. I like Frantic. Um, this has nothing. Nothing of value. Uh, I, I hate it. I hate it. And it's only number five. 
but I fucking hate it. And before, The Putty Mord by King810, uh, or any other King810 album. I fucking hate bro rock. I fucking hate this kind of macho, I'm the tough guy, I got tattoos on my face, come to me, I'm gonna fucking shoot ya. Oh, I fucking hate it. I've seen them live and it was the worst experience ever. I'll do it. I'll do a video on worst concert experiences. Seeing them was really fucking bad. I was lying down. I was, <laughs> I was lying down at a festival, drinking rum, and they came on. I was just like, "Why are you trying too hard to be tough? You don't have to try to be tough. Like most tough guys don't try. They're just tough. Uh, the silent but deadly. But." I hate it, like walking around stage, like doing all this. I, it, what, what the fuck? This isn't metal. This isn't fucking metal. I, I hate it. Hate it. The one of my most hated bands ever. The music is trash. The, the singer is trash. Uh, everything about them is trash. Fuck everything about them. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Number three. I'm not a fan, but the kids like it by a broken side. Yeah, I had to listen to this album. <sighs> this one shouldn't come as a surprise. Broken side is a fucking abomination uh, in music. It's abomination in music. The it's kind of crunk core, if you remember what that is. Um, take what I said for the bro core, King Eight Ten and Five Finger Death Punch and shit. Fuck all them. And then amp it up to 11 and then add a sprinkle of cringe factor in. Um, and teenage angst. Oh, you make Broken Side. Ugh, and Blood on the Dance Floor and all those other fucking bands. But this is just the worst. The, those high chipmunk vocals just, just scratch your eardrums. Like, what the fuck am I listening to? And then you got some, like, trap beats. You got some, like, just hip-hop shit going on and then they're trying to rap and then they're trying to scream while it's rapping <sighs> no <laughs> no dot png fuck this fuck don't listen to do not listen to this one do not listen to this album in full do not torture yourself with this album i will tell you right now this has got to be like looking at my next two lists oh they're pretty fucking bad actually next two picks are pretty bad but i would say objectively this is the worst one to listen to so do not put yourself through the torture. If you see this album ever, do yourself a favour and snap it. Snap it. And let's move on to number two. We don't need no education. Do, 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 do. Nostalgia Critics The Wall. Why the fuck did they ruin an amazing album? Um, they, they made a parody album. Nostalgia Critic made a parody album. I'm not the biggest fan of Doug Walker anyway. I don't think he's funny at all. He just, um, he's just really loud. <laughs> I don't think he has a humorous bone in his body. And this shows it. What the fuck is this? Absolute travesty. Just ruining the good name of Pink Floyd for no fucking reason other than a cheap gag. Uh, each song, he just tweaks the song titles, tweaks some of the lyrics, and it just, it just, it just it's juvenile. It's not funny. Um, it's sad. That's, this album is very sad. And then at the end of his fucking review one, because there's a review on it, you can watch this online. I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you're drunk, maybe. At the end of it, he's just like, oh, it's an alright album. You know, it's an alright film. And it's like, you just did all that shitting on them for no fucking reason. No reason. And then just said, oh, it's alright. It just makes the whole thing just feel off. It just feels off. He's doing it for views, for attention, uh, shitting on the good name for attention, and it's sad. This is sad. This is a sad one. Uh, Corey Taylor was in the video as well. Why the fuck was he in it? Um, yeah, what can I say? This this one physically hurt to watch. Physically hurt to watch. Physically hurt to listen to. Let's move on before before my soul escapes my body. Uh, or a little yokai pulls it out of my ass because in Japanese mythology that's what they do. They have, the soul is in your asshole, and they kind of like these little these little turtle things will just shove it in your ass and fucking pull it out. Anyway, my number one pick. So number one, my most hated album of all fucking time, and it's one that came out last month. Yes, last month. <sighs> Psychosexual, torch the faith. 
Maybe it's because it's so new in my memory. Maybe it's because the videos of him are just burned into my fucking retinas. I, this is, uh, this is fucking awful. Yes, Nostalgia Critics 1 was sad. It was just a waste of time. Yes, Broken Sides 1 sounds like you're about to fucking kill your eardrums, but this is all of them at once. It's the cringe, it's bad music, it's it's sleazy without, you know, being fun. At least I'll give Steel Panther the fun side of it. It's, it's awful, it's cringy, it makes you feel weird. Do not watch the videos for it. Actually, watch the videos for it, because it'll be funny. I want to see everyone's reaction. Pop down in the comments below your reaction when you listen to Torch the Faith's uh, Let the Sin Begin, was it? Let the Sin Begin. Yeah. It's fucking awful. What is he wearing? He calls himself Devil Daddy? Devil Daddy? These song titles? The, the, the... Mm. It's the drummer from Five Finger Death Punch. That shows you what this kind of... <laughs> this band's gonna be like... Devil Daddy, let the sin begin. It's gonna be meme to all shit. It's gonna be meme to all shit, but this this album is fucking a disgrace. Um, it's actually surprising how bad it is. And the fact that it's so new, and it's my most hated, and I think it's the worst album ever made, um, it just shows how bad it is. So take your time out, go listen to it. You will you, you will hate me for it. You will hate me for it. Do not you, <laughs> See, I don't want people to listen to it because it's so bad, but I want people to listen to it because it's so bad. So make your own mind up and tell me in the comments below if you've killed yourself after watching it. You know, come back as a ghost and then type it in. Those are my most hated albums of all time. Let me know in the comments below what albums you goddamn hate. Let the hate flow. Let the hate flow through you, young Skywalker. And we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.